Hey guys, what's up? Code Red Mining. I'm a little sick right now, so my voice is a little raspy. Uh, I want to do a quick video um, with the new Nice Hash. 100% unlock um, happening. They don't. You, they want you to use their Quick Cash Miner, and then they don't want you to use MSI Afterburn. They want you to use their their type of miner. So if you right-click this, OC Tune. So I just want to do a quick overlook on how to do that. So when you install the nice hash uh, miner, which I'll leave a link below, um, I, I think I get a little kickback if anybody follows the link. I don't know, really. I'm not too worried about it. I'm just trying to make it easy. Um, you'll see a thing. You can either just install it directly. And it'll, it'll basically put everything on light. So what you want to do is you want to make sure everything is on manual. Uh, and then once everything is on manual, uh, you'll see like the miner here. So you see I'm getting the full hash rates. Obviously this one's a little lower because I'm, I'm remoted into that PC right now. Um, and then this is the main PC that I'm on that's remote into it. But it was getting the full hash as well. Uh, so once you're on your desktop here, you see the miner. You see this thing here. So you'll go down to your toolbar. You'll right click and click OC Tune. Then it'll bring up this page. So as you can see, you can see both miners or both graphics cards right here. You can see their current uh, overtune clock. So I have them at 115 power. Uh, let's see here. Where's the? Sorry, I'm still. I figured I had to set everything in there, but it, it sets it as far as like adding it to the original overclock. So, okay, so let's just say you want to set your overclocks real quick. You want to do your 1200 memory. Um, I, I'm just leaving the core clocks currently at zero. Um, somebody will probably figure out more on how to do this. I'm just doing a quick video so you can get your power settings and everything. Because if you put everything on just... If you just set everything on high, so there's another option that's high. I mean, it really makes it high. And I had the miner keep resetting, and then it reset the PC too. So I wanted to set my overclocks manually. So you click select, uh, or you can select each one individually. So let's see here. Okay, so let's say I want to do my gigabyte one. So I'm going to select. I'm going to set his power to 116. You click select it. And then to make sure it worked, you see it changes right there. Uh, let's say I want to adjust its memory. I click select it. It'll adjust the memory up to 1301 right there. As you can see, the core clock is zero. Uh, I'm not sure if there's an absolute core clock yet. I'm sure somebody will figure that out, but I'm not really too worried about it. I'm getting the overclocks I'm happy with. I'm not negativing the core clock. I'm not positiving. I'm just keeping it at zero, which is fine. Uh, you can also, so let's see, so you can click 115 and select all. It'll adjust it back down. Uh, select all. There you go. Adjust everything. And as far as the fan, so it was on default auto. I want to do a, I guess a, a fixed speed. Or a, no, I'm sorry, um, target GPU temp. So I like to try and keep my core at 70, my VRAMs at 70. And I selected all for that. So then it'll go ahead and go ahead and do that. And as you can see over here, it's almost real time. You can see where it's changed everything. You can see in the excavator miner, you can see where your settings are. So fixed fan speed, 100%, 55C, 70C VRAM. And then so it's fan override. So it's overriding the fan because I don't want that stupid auto stuff. I, I just don't think it works very well. But it seems like there's a lot more to this miner. Um, and as you can see, there's some stuff that's experimental. AMD overclocking. AMD overclocking I haven't messed with yet. This is strictly for, um, you know, 20, 30 series. I, I would assume 10 series too. And you can see where you can select each individual card there. So yeah, quick video. Just so you can get your overclock set correctly, so you don't have to use the the nice hash medium high or light setting. You can actually do the manual, set your 1300 or 1200 memory clock, your power settings, and get those optimized settings that you usually use through MSI Afterburn. And also, as far as MSI Afterburn goes, what I did was so I normally have mine set up to where it returns to the overclocks that I keep for mining. I went ahead and turned that off and reset the uh, graphics cards to stock and then closed MSI Afterburn down. Uh, I didn't want any interfering with this overclocker with MSI Afterburn. Uh, so yeah, th like I said, this is a quick video. Um, here you go. This is my other graphics card. Had, if anybody's watching, C. 
on Apple TV. Super good. Jason Momoa is awesome in it. Just uh, also, side note, go watch Apple TV C. Really super good. And I've also been told to watch Foundation on there. From what I'm hearing, Apple TV is killing it right now on the TV show. So I, this is the first show I'm watching on there, and I'm loving it. Sorry, side rant. Um, so, okay, so here's my dashboard. You can see these two running fine. I still have the page up, so the one's going to be a little lower right now. But this one is basically full hash. Um, I found the sweet pot spot for my 3060. And these are version 1 3060s, but they're on the newest driver. So they're on a 500 driver, not the 470. So it is actually correct. And then this is a version 2 Asus Tough one. Obviously, the mega hash is a little lower right now because I'm actually on that PC. It's running three monitors and recording right now. So it's going to be a little lower. But those settings, I have about the same. Um, I set that one a bit higher in the power limit because it's my main PC and I don't want to starve the graphics card of power because it's needed to run three screens and you know all my other stuff while it's mining but the other settings are pretty much exactly the same uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and edit, go ahead and end the video there um, it was pretty quick easy video I just want to get this out for everybody so they can at least get some basic settings and I'm sure somebody will release a more detailed uh, OC tuner overclock thing um, hopefully nice hash and this thing becomes better. I, I'd like it to go through High OS, but I don't know if that'll happen. Nice ass just in sharing the um, the uh, code. So we'll see. Uh, but you guys have a good night. Uh, come mine with me on Ezil. Um, they recently added where you can do BCC, BTC payout. So I'm, I'm thinking what I'm going to do is move a bunch of my LHR cards to NiceHash, get them BTC payouts, and then I'm going to start doing BTC payouts through Ezil. So um, my Zillica and Ethereum will be paid to me with through Bitcoin so I'll be getting the full mega hash of my LHR cards and all my normal full hash rate and 20 series cards will be paying out in Bitcoin so I can just continue and I can just start collecting Bitcoin instead uh, hopefully there isn't an issue with the amount of mega hash that goes to nice hash uh, that is a concern um, but we'll see I mean I I doubt a lot of people love using uh, Linux and a lot of people just aren't going to mess with Windows so, yeah, uh, everybody have a good day. Like, subscribe. Thanks. See y'all later.